further recessionary signs, but this time if we look at the Asian region, at key PMI data, very worrying signs. Now, for those that don't know, the Asian region in general is, uh, you know, a known place for manufacturing, okay? Because costs are generally quite low and productivity is high. You know, if we're looking at China, Vietnam, um, South Korea, India, uh, Taiwan, the, the list goes on. Um, so there's a lot of efficiency there and, and, and um, low cost. So these are uh, manufacturing powerhouses if we look at some of those countries that I, I noted. Now, over the weekend, and the latter stages of last week, we have seen further worsening uh, signs for these leading, very leading and, and heavily relied upon industries, okay, or sectors uh, for the countries. You know, if we look at South Korea, their manufacturing PMIs, um, you know, plunging to lowest level seen since the 2008-2009 crisis. We saw the same with Japan last week. India, all-time lows, a number of job cuts within the factory sector, Taiwan taking a big hit, and also looking at South Korea as well, a large economy within the Asian region, and, and obviously they're known for um, Samsung. Okay, Samsung, um, massive tech giant, they report in uh, or sent out a warning last week of the, a big reduction in their profits and their outlook doesn't look great because of the, the dropping in demand given obviously the economic conditions that we're seeing at the moment. So, you know, a lot of key uh, leading economies there in the Asian region. What does this mean anyway, Ken? Look, bring this back. What does it mean for the markets? Well, guys, it's just this is what. Uh, compiling a fundamental view okay looking at everything you know don't just be narrow-minded and look at what's going on in the US don't just be narrow-minded look at what's going on in Europe and the UK you got to look at the bigger picture the global economy and and if we got to look at Asia as I explained they're a manufacturing powerhouse the region in general um, these are further adding to signs of recession um, global economic woes um, in times of this what do we see we see flights in safe haven so a theme continue to think about in terms of you know dips being bought with the the safe haven instruments in the likes of gold which remains elevated and i gave my reasons as to why you know dollar gaining some front foot at the moment today um and then you know you've got to look at your riskier currencies that are exposed as well the likes of aud nzd um and cad uh, so on and so forth so it's just all about building a picture and just worsening um economic conditions that we're seeing at the moment guys but look, in terms of building a view fundamentally, I've done a course on this, forexfundamentals.io. So it's Freak U, Freak University. Do not hesitate to check that out. Um, we have a fundamentals course, or if you want to keep up to date with fundamental analysis and technicals, check out our service at freaknetwork.io. Other than that, stay lit, baby. Let's get it. Skrr!